Well, hello everybody and welcome to the latest edition of uh, Wild Art News. Uh, plenty to talk about, uh, but the main thing is Bird Fair. Bird Fair is only a couple of days away um, and as you may well by, uh, know by now, uh, that Wild Art uh, will be at Bird Fair. Uh, so do uh, pop by and say hello. Um, we've got plenty of stuff on the stand. Obviously the Wild Art Photography of the Year book, you can come and pick that up. Um, and I've got a couple of special deals going on with that, um, you know, with combinations of other books and, and that sort of thing. But uh, there's some prints and some cards and all, all, all that sort of thing on the stand as well. Um, but it's a good opportunity to just come along and say hello. If you haven't entered the competition before, you know, come and have a chat about that. Uh, it's uh, you know, really nice to get your feedback uh, and it's really great to be at those sort of events. Um, you know, just, just to be able to sort of speak directly to everybody. Um, it's going to be a really hot weekend. Uh, the temperatures are soaring uh, and it's looking like 30 degrees plus. So it's going to be a bit sticky in that marquee. But uh, do come by and say hello. Uh, you know, I really hope you take that opportunity. Uh, we're in the Puffin Marquee, uh, stand number 45. So stand P45, uh, Puffin Marquee. Um, and also on the Saturday at 1.30, I'll be giving a lecture in the uh, Plover Lecture Theatre where I'll be showing some of the best pictures from last year's competition and explaining why the judges picked those out. So uh, do drop by and, uh, you know, and, and take that in if you can. Uh, it's a, it's, these lectures are like 20 minutes long, so uh, you, know, you don't have to sit still for too long um, and come and enjoy some great photography. But as I said, if you're coming to Bird Fair, uh, then it'd be great to see you. Uh, stand number 45 in the Puffin Marquee. Drop by, say hello, be, be great to meet you. Uh, secondly, behaviour. Um, we are going to be doing the winner's announcements uh, for that on the 7th of August. I said apologies for the delay with that, but William's been away doing trips uh, and what have you, so he's been committed there. Obviously, I've got bird fare, uh, so I can't do it this weekend. So the, the next available slot is the 7th of August, and I'll agree a time with William where we'll, 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 we'll do that on the 7th. Uh, and as soon as I've done that, after I get back from Bird Fair, I'll put that up on the YouTube channel and on the Facebook page and send everybody an email as well. So, uh, so look out for that. Um, and if you, you know, and I'll, well, if you have been successful in that uh, competition and, uh, and won a prize, then I'll be in touch with you over the course of, of next week, um, you know, to let you know and try and line you up for that winner's presentation. Now our category for July is human nature uh, and that's up and running so you can enter that right up until the end of July, so the 31st and it's midnight UK time. Uh, this has caused a bit of confusion uh, so please make sure that if you're in a different time zone you don't get those time zones muddled up. So it's we're currently on British summer time uh, which is GMT plus one. Uh, so that's when it closes, the system automatically cuts off uh, so make sure you don't miss out. Enter it nice and early. There's no reason, you know, to delay that entry right until the last minute, as so many people do. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's open now. Get it in nice and early. If you have any problems, we can sort those out in time. So, uh, and if you want to know a little bit more about what human nature is about as a category and what Rebecca's looking for, then do check out the video that I did with her um, a few weeks ago where we talked about the category. I've shortened the, uh, the recording so you've got all the best bits. Uh, in, you know, in a, in a shortened version, and I'll put a link to that video uh, up in the, the the top of the screen here, uh, so you can click on that and uh, you know and, and have a good look through that video and pick up some some tips. We shared some great photography and general photography chit chat too, so uh, it's well worth it. Well worth a look. Now, space the top 100. We've just about sorted that. I had a really long uh, chat with uh, Josh Galicki last night. Uh, when we were going through the various selections. So I think we've got a top 100 sorted um, and obviously we need to um, you know, get the, you know, the final phase of, of, of judging complete before we release that uh, top 100. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that probably at the end of next week. Um, so when I'm back from Bird Fair uh, and I've managed to bring in some of the other judges and, uh, and we have a final discussion about the selection, uh, then I can release that top 100. So it's probably going to be uh, not this weekend, the following weekend, but again, I'll let you all know. But I tell you, there are some cracking images in that top 100 selection. So if you make the top 100, you have done really well because that oh, just blew me away. 
Um, so well done to everybody who entered that. If you haven't made the top 100, there is absolutely no disgrace at all because this, oh, the standard was simply jaw dropping. So there's some, some great stuff to have a look at. So, uh, so look out for that. I can't wait to release that top 100. It's, it's absolutely awesome. So uh, thank you to everybody who entered that. So I think that's all from me for now. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, do drop by and say hello if you're coming to Bird Fair. It'd be great to see you. Uh, and I'll see you all again next time.